Is my old girl hot and ready? Look, 007, I've had a long and tiring journey, probably to no purpose. And I'm in no mood for your juvenile quips. I have much curiosity, Bolsa. What is little Nelly? Oh, she's a wonderful girl. Very small. Quite fast. Can do anything. Just your type. A toy helicopter? No, it's certainly not a toy. You'll see. We've made one or two improvements since you used her last. I'll give you the drill. This can only be for children. Don't use it, Bonsan. Take my helicopter instead. Right. Now pay attention. Two machine guns fixed. Synchronized to what? A hundred yards. We're using incendiaries and high explosives. Two rocket launchers, forward firing on either side. Fine. Now, these fire heat-seeking air-to-air missiles, 60 a minute. Good. Flame guns, two of them, firing astern. What range? 80 yards. Two smoke ejectors next door to them. Aerial mines. Now, remember, use them only when directly above target. Well, that's about the lot, I think. You know the rest, don't you? Yes. Cine camera. Tanaka, listen in on 410 megacycles. Good luck, Bunsan. I'll contact you when I get over the island. OK. Be careful, Bunsan. the island now. I've seen the fishing village. Nothing to report. Roger. Right, we'll keep listening. There's nothing here but volcanoes. Understood. Carry on.
Ball base one. Listening. Little Nelly got a hot reception. Four big shots made improper advances towards her. But she defended her honor with great success. Heading for home. Hi there again everybody, Boyd here with you and welcome back to the bench. Well I just wanted to make a video today to show you this little model I just finished up. I hope you guys enjoyed the intro for the subject for today. This is Little Nelly, the uh, auto gyro that was seen in the uh, classic James Bond film, You'll Only Live Twice. It's a really cool, uh, you know, uh, kind of iconic, one of James Bond's iconic gadgets that he had in all those various films and happens to be one of my, you know, from one of my favorite uh, the Sean Connery era of the James Bond films were always my favorite, and I really like this. I started building this about a year and a half ago on one of the uh, model shop episodes and just kind of put it off to the side, and this is one of the kits that um, I talked about in the last couple of videos we're going to come back and get finished up, and uh, really happy with it. It came out nice. Uh, for a kit that's around 40 years old, it, it still has, you know, to this day, it has quite a bit of detail and everything, and it went together pretty well. Includes the pilot figure, and has a nice likeness to James Bond and all that so pretty cool little kit you can see the original box I have here I'm sure this is a repot because it has a barcode but originally the, I think these first came out in the late 60s early 70s and you can still find them if you want to find one of these I got this one on eBay for around thirty dollars but um, just take your time when you're um, looking for one because I've seen them anywhere from three hundred to twenty dollars so don't pay too much for it you know they're not that rare of a kit and just take your time and You'll be able to get one at a good price, but you can see I've got it mounted on this uh, Polar Lights base here. I like to use these for mounting my little helicopter and airplane models because it you know gets them off the ground and it's got like a swiveling uh, top on it, so you can pose the model in different angles and everything, and you can spin it around really easy to look at it and all that. So uh, and it looks a lot better flying and everything. And since we have the pilot figure in there, you know it actually looks like it could be flying. So that's really cool. Now, as far as the building of the kit, everything went together really good on it. It fits good. Um, you know, everything, the moldings were pretty clean and all that. Um, but there's some inaccuracies on this kit that are well known over the years. You know, the main thing being is these um, rocket launching tubes up here in the front. The way it comes out of the box is they have these huge, like, trigger pieces molded on here. And uh, the rockets themselves are just this kind of little tip that goes in there that looks nothing like rockets. And uh, I think it actually was designed to be like a toy or something because it looked like a little spring could fit in there and this little trigger that you pulled would like release it and it would come shooting out of there. So I got rid of all that stuff and uh, made my own rockets out of some sprue and just painted them up and put them in there and try to, you know, improve the look of, of that quite a bit. I didn't want to modify this kit too much because I wanted to keep it mostly original. Um, but I've seen people on the internet do a fantastic job on these, you know, modifying everything. And then also here at the front, the uh, the little kind of spike that sticks out there that does not come with the kit either at least it wasn't in in uh, my kit and it didn't show it in the instructions at all um, so I just again made that out of sprue and uh, heated that up stretched it and then sanded a little bit and just got it mounted on the front and uh, help again help that make make that look a little bit closer to how it should and you have the rearward firing you know flamethrowers at the back here the the air-to-air -air missiles on down below and all that stuff the machine guns up front now the machine guns didn't fit in the uh, front end worth a darn uh, they're actually full-length machine guns I think they're supposed to be browning 50 calibers and um, when I wound up you know trying to put them in there they were uh, up against the bottom side of it they were you know having the barrels tilted way wrong so I wound up cutting most of the breech off and just putting the barrels in there you can't see the breech or the you know the rear half of the guns anyway because they're blocked by the uh, instrument panel that goes in there and all that so you know you're not really losing any detail and they look a whole lot better if you get them straightened out like that now also this um, this front half here uh, the cowling or the, the the cockpit area what they want you to do is build the entire frame put the pilot figure in and then um, come back and put these two halves together over top of everything and uh, it really makes it for a pain in the butt to try to do it that way because you've got this big seam that would run down the top and the bottom that you have to fix and all this detail you know you'd have to sand in between it and all that and then come back and paint it and everything um, so the only thing that was stopping me from being able to just build it first and slide it over everything was this nose wheel down here which was molded onto the frame so I just cut that off and then uh, worked on the forward part all by itself you know 
put the guns in it, got the uh, seams all cleaned up, painted it, decaled it, and then I was able to just slide it right over top of everything and glue it in place and then come back at the end and uh, glue the nose wheel back on. So that worked out a lot easier and saved me a lot of time and hassle. So a little tip for you there if you want to build one of these that you might want to think about. But again, just a really neat little model. Uh, really happy with it. It's uh, It'll go with my 124 scale um, Aston Martin DB5 that I built uh, a while back here on the channel that came with the Bond and Odd Job figures from the movie Goldfinger. So they're both in 124 scale. So that'll be a pretty cool little display. I'll have a neat little uh, James Bond collection, which has always been one of my favorites. So anyway, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed seeing this. It was a really fun kit to work on. Um, again, uh, if you have any questions about that, if you get one of these and you want to... Uh, need any uh, tips or anything about how I you know what I found on this kit when I was building just drop a line in the video and I'll be happy to help you out we're gonna come back here in about a week or so and start another uh, new completely new build series that we're gonna start and finish here um, haven't made up my mind what it is yet but I've got a couple of really cool kits picked out and we'll share those with you and I uh, hope you guys will tune in and check it out so in about a week's time or so I'll kick that off so thanks for watching everybody thanks for all the subscribers we really appreciate it we'll see you next time and until we do Take care and happy modeling, everyone.